Hi folks, this is XRK Audio, and I am coming to you from my lab for another episode of What's on the Bench tonight. And tonight I'm going to be showing you a new power line conditioning filter uh, product that I've been working on for the last couple of months. Uh, mostly doing some simulations on LT Spice and finally getting to put it to the test here with an actual prototype. So what we have here is a power line conditioner filter that just plugs into any power outlet. So what I have here is basically the filter and it's just connected to a power cord. Uh, in practice, it's gonna be much more convenient. It's gonna be a nice little compact 40 millimeter diameter cylinder, about three or four inches long with a, you know, a plug on it and you just plug it into your power outlet strip. So how this works is it's, it's a, a series of parallel LRC filters that have been carefully tuned to allow a nice um, attenuation of switch mode power supply noises, which typically reside in the 100 to 400 kilohertz range. But I've also extended it all the way down to capture things, you know, as low as 10 kilohertz. Uh, some power supplies are in the 60 kilohertz range, so we want to make sure we capture those. But the test I have set up here um, today is to demonstrate how this works. And basically what I have is a power outlet strip. Uh, on the power outlet strip, I've connected a cord here, which goes to an IEC outlet with a switch. And to that is connected some alligator clips to a one kilo ohm resistor, which is representing the source impedance of the offending noise source. And that is then connected to a function generator that I have here on my oscilloscope slash function generator. Um, the oscilloscope uh, itself is connected to this power cord. This is representing your sensitive audio device, you know, your headphone amplifier, your turntable preamp, whatever, you know, um, whatever it is you want to keep quiet from noise. So the oscilloscope probes are connected there. So right now I have set up the function generator to put out 400 kilohertz and it's putting about five volts peak to peak at the function generator. But by the time it goes through the one kilo ohm impedance resistor here, and I'll show you that it's just a simple resistor. Um, it's going to be a little less. Uh, and the reason we have an impedance resistor there is it's to simulate the impedance of the noise source. The noise source, of course, is not going to be zero ohms or one ohms because you would basically be your power source company. It'd be, you know, your power company putting 400 kilohertz noise into your, your audio system, and that's not good. Uh, so there's going to be some sort of a finite impedance resistance, and it's going to depend on the noise source you have. Um, the reason I picked a 1K ohm value, it's going to be typically around there or even higher. And the reason it's there is because the switch mode power supply typically has a flyback transformer inside, which has an inherent impedance to, um, you know, to interact with your power line and not cause a short basically. So anyway, so that's connected. <clears throat> um, and if I turn it on, you can see the noise that is then impressed onto the power line. So right now we've got 3.8 volts peak to peak, 400 kilohertz. Um, and so, you know, you're listening to your, your nice audio system and you say, oh, I've got all this hash in the background. How do I get rid of it? Well, you take your device, your Parasnub, and you just plug it into your outlet strip. And the noise goes away. It's still there. Uh, so let's reacquire it and see exactly what the amplitude is. So right now you can still see it's 400 kilohertz and it's 102 millivolts. So take out a calculator real quick. So let's see. Um, what is that? That's 102 millivolts, so that's 0.102 volts. And I think it was, um, what was it? I think it was 4.6 volts, is the amplitude. And we take the log of that, base 10, multiply by 20. That's a negative 33 dB reduction. Okay. Uh, what happens at 100 kilohertz? So let's change the uh, mode here to 100 kilohertz. Okay, reacquire. It's 94 millivolts. And if you take the filter out, it's 4.6 volts. I'm sorry, 4.84 volts. So we do the math again 94 millivolts, 4.84 volts, log of that, 20. That's negative 30 dBs. 
but it's doing pretty good at 100 kilohertz. I know of a lot of switch mode power supplies that are 100 kilohertz. And if you can you can knock it down by 30 dB, you know, you're, you're doing yourself a huge favor uh, by not having to listen to that noise. So yeah, let's, let's plug it in. Bam, it goes away. Right. Um, let's go all the way down to, let's say, 60 kilohertz. Let's see what happens here. Um, they're obviously not going to make a switch mode power supply that's at 10 kilohertz. But um, we will, at least not anyone who's knows what they're doing. All right, so we're going to go down to about 60 kilohertz here. And uh, they will think that that's enough in the ultrasonic range that you're not going to hear it, and you probably won't. Um, <clears throat> let's take the filter out. We're at 4.92 volts. Put the filter in. Reacquire. 90 millivolts. So we're at 90 millivolts, 92, I'm sorry. 94 now, 94, 4.92 divide, take the log of that, 20 times, that's negative 34 dB. So yeah, it's, you know, it's working really well. Um, and I, I think that you will notice some improvement if you are hearing switch mode power supply noises in your power line. You know, here's your offending device, you turn it off, you turn it on. Um, if you didn't have your filter, this is what you're, your you know device would be seen i'm i'm not sure if you're going to get you know 5 volts of noise in your line but you may uh, you may get more when you get more you know that's that can really affect your audio quality so you plug in the filter and bam so there you have it um i will um work with my team on putting this into a nice product that's uh, really slick and usable and compact, and uh, you know, I, I think we will uh, we we will get this out to market pretty soon, and hopefully, you guys can start enjoying it and uh, reducing the noise in your audio systems. Um, thanks for watching.